Hello, you are watching Venturi's blog channel and in this video I will install this trick L start starting battery charger for my when starting battery so it is uh, never will be empty again. Let's go. So the main question is what is this, why do you need this device and uh, if you watch my videos uh, you can tell that uh, during the winter I not making much videos because it's uh, cold, it's very moist and uh, I have no place where I can do my woodwork and other stuff so I'm waiting, waiting for spring and summer for good weather but I have to deal with the problem with my wind battery, it uh, going to empty uh, for maybe two weeks, uh, and it's uh, from full to zero, and uh, I have to deal with uh, uh, wires to start my wind and uh, other problems. So, and uh, it's it's very bad for battery to being depleted f full because. Uh, liquid acid battery don't like to be empty it uh, will be very bad for battery and it will be die um, very soon so I bought and found this uh, magic device it's a very simple thing uh, it uh, can charge your start engine battery from your life batteries uh, I have a solar panels, uh, very big solar panels and very big uh, life uh, batteries. It's uh, 400 ampere hours and uh, more than 400 uh, watts uh, solar panels. So I have plenty of energy, but I couldn't share it with my start engine battery because uh, you, it's not recommended to uh, put a different batteries in the, in one uh, in one connection and uh, this is my wind battery is uh, 100 ampere hours and uh, my wind battery is in is 200 ampere hours and it's AGM batteries this is uh, another type of battery so if I connect it together um, it uh, will short uh, the lifetime of my batteries so I found this device. It's a very simple thing. Uh, it's uh, only purpose is uh, take 12 volt uh, power from my life batteries and put it to my starting battery without uh, connected in one uh, one big battery system. So it's a trick L start uh, from L. SLproducts.net. Uh, I bought it in USA because I couldn't find it, it uh, local. It's uh, not very pricey, about twenty-four dollars, uh, and it uh, five amps charger. Not very much, but uh, it's only purpose to maintain my battery and not very much charge it. So it's more than enough. Now I will connect it to my life batteries. And this is the scheme how the thing connects to uh, your batteries. So uh, it's really have uh, only uh, three wires, and one is a plus wire for your batteries. One in the is the plus wire for your starting battery and one in the ground so uh, thing is uh, you connect only one ground and uh, the whole van is really is ground wire so you can uh, get it ground uh, so it's minus for DC volts uh, everywhere don't mind the much stuff that you can see here uh, it's uh, some 
things from from my house because I do some repairs. So my batteries is here, and my starting battery in the printer is uh, there. It's a uh, uh, black metal uh, thing. You see here, it's under under this is a battery in printer. Uh, starting battery located uh, under the driver seat. So I will put my trickle start device there, and uh, I really need uh, only one wire to go through all the way to the my starting battery, and uh, it's already has the ground a uh, minus, and for minus there I just need to. Uh, connected to any metal thing on the body of my van. I will try to do it now. And now I am done with my connection. So you can see here is my new addition to my electrical system. It's fuse box. It's a simple fuse box like uh, in cars uh, with fuse like this. So uh, now I connect all things through this fuse box and this is my wiring wiring station and this is my main um, main automatic fuse so I connect trick restart like it says in uh, instruction plus to uh, through few few fuse box and wiring station and automatic switch to my batteries and this is black and blue wires must be ground and my start battery connection so it goes there there through all the way so there I make ground connection because why not there I like this place and uh, it goes blue wire more and more this is projector wires not not this this wire goes more and more and more and more so here I remove plastic panel this this panel with seat belt uh, I don't remove seal belt just uh, pull it and wire goes down there under the seat uh, this uh, section has my uh, diesel heater and uh, it goes there uh, I remove one of the on one of the plates this plate was there so I can wire it under this and finally goes there to my main uh, start battery so now I will check with you is it working or not or maybe uh, we all die I don't know so I turn on this light uh, it uh, takes power from my start battery so we just uh, see it's empty full depleted and uh, I will start I will turn on uh, this charger and we will see immediately is it working or not and let's go hooray it's working I'm more than happy so I couldn't start my engine now because uh, it's uh, just 5 amps of charging oh so it's a uh, charging lamp shows that my start battery is charging also I connect from my wiring station ground to my bus ground so now all my van is uh, also a minus for my life batteries and it also minus for, for for start battery so it's all all ground thank you for watching uh, my video
that's all for now now i just uh, need to put back all the panels and uh, covers to make it look like uh, it's not nothing there so subscribe to my channel uh, there will be more videos soon because uh, it's uh, starting to get warmer and uh, it's a uh, spring coming and uh, I will make more videos uh, I have plenty of plans and uh, maybe next video will be about insulation or about bed construction or about a uh, partronic system mounts in my van one of these maybe maybe not so subscribe and uh, visit my website wantures.com look at my other videos and thank you for watching bye